what's up y'all i got a quick toilet uh removal and install real quick kind of like a product review too so this is a glacier bay toilet we had it since hurricane katrina which was about 2005 uh we renovated the house so obviously uh after uh, 2005 probably about 2007 i guess we had the house back on um which toilet was not hitting on nothing it was garbage so taking it out the way it worked is one of those uh water conservation type toilets it this little bowl right here this little bowl will fill up with water and then when it was time to flush this bucket would dump out all right sounds good in theory but in reality it didn't work worth the nickel uh nine times out of ten you wind up flushing the toilet two three four times before it would even flush and then sometimes i even wind up having to go to the tub and just filling up a bucket and you know flushing it that way so we up in here 2000 and 2000 and what uh 19 almost living like a third world country you know using a bucket to to flush the toilet so again uh, this is a glacier bay toilet i was looking at uh lowe's the last time i was over there and i didn't even see it i think it might actually be a home depot toilet but case in point is if you ever come across one of these designs and you think oh this is neat i'll try to get a toilet like this don't do it stick with the old way um again in engineering maybe in theory it sounds good but in application at least for me and we got two of them the front toilet and the back toilet I think it might have been a special or something and i got it and i regretted every minute of it man like i said the worst toilet i've, I've ever come in contact with even the handles the handles like this was a handle right here and it broke off so i wound up having to grab the side i don't know if you can see grab the side and kind of dump it that way but um even the handles to replace i think this was maybe i don't know i don't want to lie to you about almost 30 something dollars to replace or something just bad engineering all around so again if you see a toilet like this this is a glacier bay um had the little twist and dump action don't do it avoid it stick with something better all right so that's my two cents on this i'm almost done taking the bolts off pull the caulk from around the toilet so now i'm about to go ahead clean the floor up a little bit get this thing out of here and put in another toilet uh cool that'll be good peace so now we're putting a new toilet in. So first things first, you gotta get the wax ring in. The wax ring comes with the wax ring and the little nuts and whatnot to do it. So I'm gonna put it on a little fixture area, secure that, and then uh, do the next part. So now we got the bolts in position. Now I see some people saying to put the wax ring on the bottom of the toilet. Um, the, the instruction I see. Look like they just kind of put it in place, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put mine in place. All right, so I was doing good, and then I ran into a little bit of a snag. The little bottom portion of this, they got like some spaces or something that was hard as the dickens for me to figure out. So I advise a socket wrench if you got one. That way, I was able to tighten everything and get it like I needed it. And now, after we took a little longer than necessary. Boom. I'm back in business. Alright y'all. Hope this helps.